So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this case called sportstuff.com. Uh, it's from chapter five called Network Design and Supply Chain, page 151 in the Chopra and Mendel book, Supply Chain Management, uh, sixth edition, I believe. Okay, so I recommend you to read the whole case, okay? Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to discuss all of it, but some points we should remember, we should note down is that, you know, they have given some demand information below in the table 5.17. And for the next three years, they expect that the growth of demand will be 80% every year, okay? And also here you see, they consider four potential locations for warehouses, Denver, Seattle, Atlanta, and Philadelphia, okay? And there you see that the, the, the capacity for Smaller warehouses in each of the locations is 2 million and larger uh, warehouses is 4 million. So these are something we will need. And here you see they also provide us some inventory holding cost function. Okay. But it depends on your Excel solver. If you can use this one, some of the Excel solvers may not uh, be able to estimate these, may not be able to optimize uh, with this kind of function, which is not linear. And yeah, here we have the demand information, as I mentioned earlier, for 2007, and we will consider solving 2008, 9, and 10, where the demand increases by 80% every year. And here we have some fixed and variable cost for the warehouses. You see all the warehouses, they have uh, some fixed cost for a small one, and then the variable cost for each unit that moves through the warehouse, which is 0 0.20. And for large warehouses, you see the fixed cost is a, a bit higher compared to this, but the flow cost, the cost associated with power unit flow through the warehouse is 0 0.20, which is fixed. So for those who um, cannot handle a nonlinear function for inventory cost, they recommend using this function. And also here you see this function changes based on the number of uh, units handled. So they recommend that if it is also com complex for your solver to handle different uh, thresholds for, for inventory cost, then simply use this equation, okay? So in this equation, what it means is that if your warehouse is open, then it will have this cost as inventory cost, plus for every unit you hold in the warehouse, it will be 0 0.165 times of the number of units, okay? And also one more thing we, ha we have to note down is that uh, sports stuff, they charge the customers $3 per shipment and here also you note you have noted down this that the, each shipment has actually four units, okay. And but then what they do is they actually give this transportation task to UPS, and the the cost for that is summarized here, okay. So the cost is per four units. You have to remember that. And now you have to answer these three questions. What is the cost of sports stuff in cursive? All warehouses are listed in St. Louis. What is the supply chain configuration do you recommend for a sports stuff and why? And how do you recommend change if transportation costs were twice uh, shown in table, this table? So we will be solving all of them in the upcoming videos.